Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to my beautiful collective. Well, we're going to get a rainy day reading. I love my rainy day readings. It is so gorgeous outside. I, I would turn the camera around, but I noticed on my other video that when I tried to flip the camera around to show you guys outside, it kind of didn't come out that great. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys it's gorgeous. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to be like creepy Joe Biden <laughs> and start whispering. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm hearing watch out for creepos ah uh, and by the way speaking of creepos don't be a creepo and just sit here and stare at me on my channel okay smash that fucking that thumbs up button smash that subscribe button you know don't be afraid don't be scarred don't be scarred <laughs> all right let's see what do we have for the collective today our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive all of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <laughs> and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us all from evil. For thy is the power and the kingdom and the glory of heaven forever and ever. Amen. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So far, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know what's going on, but somebody has pissed off a fucking black magic witch bitch. Okay. Because we got the devil. And we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Queen of Pentacles upright, she's gorgeous. She's she's vibing. She's an earth angel. She's just doing the darn thing. But a Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay, that is the, um, I'm trying to get situated here so you guys don't see my messy ass house. Well, okay, I'm a mom, okay? I get stuff on there. I got my kitty bowl, okay? Yeah, whatever. Don't look at my background. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I, I'm really seeing here that this Queen of Pentacles in reverse don't know who she's fucking with. This is the second time this came out. I just did a reading right before this, and I decided to redo it because I don't like really reading this kind of energy. But obviously, it's coming through for a really good reason because this is somebody that we have to really investigate, okay? There's somebody here, and I, I'm even hearing it could be a man. It could be a man. You know, it could even be um, somebody that's an occultist, that's in an occult group. Um, that's why I moved from um, California because I don't like uh, LA, Hollywood. Yeah, does any of these ring a bell? Like, these guys, they are evil. They are so evil. Like, I I get, like, the taste of, of copper and... Um, and what else? There was something, it was like copper, like a bad metal taste, okay? And I um, I cast a spell on myself that when I'm around anybody that's extremely um, toxic, like evil, or anybody that like does not like me or that's lying to me, I cast a spell on myself, I hex myself that I'll get this copper taste. So like even whenever I'm talking to people and they start bullshitting and lying to me and I'm just like, Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> because I get the strong ass fucking copper taste. Yes, I do. All right. Anyways, um, I'm hearing that you know what? This there's some kind of communication that has there's some kind of communication that has came to this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This we're gonna call her the black magic witch bitch. Okay? There's some kind of communication that has came... Oh, okay, that's relevant. Queen of Cups. That has came into uh, this toxic-ass fucking witch. Um, that it, it... They're just seeing, like, why am I so burdened? Okay, why do I have all these burdens? See, this guy's, like, going up the hill carrying all these sticks and everything. Why am I so burdened? Why am I trying so hard not getting fucking nowhere? And it's like, you could feel, you could, yeah, you could totally feel this, this, uh, these burdens that, and then this jealousy of over a queen of cups, over a high priestess. It's like, you can feel the burdens, they're wanting to be lifted. And, and queen of cups here, it's like, even if you fucking don't like her, even if you're jealous of her. Do you realize that she will still help you? 
she will still pray for you. <laughs> like, she will still take these burdens, even though you're trying to send Satan and his fucking demonic minions after her, you know, trying to create burdens in, in this Queen of Cups' life, you know? You're trying to create burdens when really it's just creating burdens of your own, okay? Because this Queen of Cups, she radiates with the cup, okay? She's the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Love. Yeah. And she's put up, she's been through some shit. She's been through some toxic ass cheaters. She's been through some narcissistic fucking egotistic liars. She's been hurt by parents, friends. She's had to cut off everybody in order to refill her own cup. So instead of like, you know, sending Satan and all of his little demonic minions, all your little tricks, all, all your little black magic witch bitch tricks. Why don't you fuck it instead? Why don't you take notes? So get a fucking pen and paper out, bitch. And take some notes. Because this is how you work. This is how things are supposed to work. Three of Pentacles. Alright? Yeah. Not like this. Like this. Not like this. See these three people? How they're not even working. They're all going their own ways. And they're, they cut each other. And they stabbed each other in the back. And all that. That's not how shit's supposed to go down. That's not how shit's supposed to work, okay? So when you start radiating in, in this kind of energy, then people will start looking up to you. When you start radiating in this kind of energy, you know, or, or this Queen of Cups energy, you'll notice that all these burdens, all these burdens are going to be relieved, okay? All these burdens are going to fall out of your life. When you start treating people, okay, this is like... The number one universal law, okay? Treat people the way you want to be treated. It's very, very, very simple. Very simple. It's the law of attraction. Anyways, you know, I don't have time in my life to sit back and stalk people or talk shit about people or bring my energy from up here to down here because people like this queen of pentacles in reverse that's all they want that's all they want they just want that attention they want that they want i want what she's got or i want what he's got why can't i have that well bitch fucking work for it and turn your fucking frown upside down and start manifesting for your enemies Matter of fact, start praying for your enemies. Send love and light. Return to sender with love and light. Okay? And that is how you fucking paradigm shift some negative energy into positive energy. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. <laughs> All right, you guys. Don't sit there and just look at me like a weirdo. Okay? Smash that thumbs up button if you're enjoying my content thus far. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're also going to pull some um, oracle messages real quick. But... I need some coffee. Yeah. It's morning. I just woke up. Can you tell? Huh? Do you guys like it how I get on here and I'm just like, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> See, that's that high priestess. That's that queen of cups. That's that I don't give a f energy. <laughs> Either you like me or you don't. You go left or you go right. There's no in the middle. I don't give a shit. You can't play the fence. My son's at school right now. So you know what? I think I'm going to smoke me a cigarette. Yes, I am. No, no, I'll do it after. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, anyways. Let's see here. Yeah, I really feel like there's a bit, huge transformation um, there's a queen of pentacles here that is, um, refusing, refusing to go within and she's calling upon the wrong energy. Yeah. But queen of, uh, or queen, huh. um, high priestess here, you know, she sits in between the veils. She sits in between the pillars of the dark and light. So she's understanding. She's a very understanding, um, high priestess. Okay. She's very caring high priestess. She's the one that sits in between the veil. See, that's the veil of the spirit realm. So she, you, when you die, you have to go up to her and you see this, you see this scroll right here. Okay. She knows 
wisdom and esoteric knowledge. She know she's she's an angel. She's like to me she's an earth angel. And she knows a lot of esoteric knowledge that the that the rest of the world cannot know. All right. Um and you know it really sucks when I'm doing a reading, okay? And I see that, you know, somebody's going to get into a car accident or, you know, somebody's loved one's going to pass away. And the only thing that I can do is I, I, I have to keep it to myself because that's destiny. I don't change destiny. I give advice on like, you know, oh, cheating, this, that, whatever, you know, life lessons. I give life lessons advice, but I can't alter the course of your life. And that's altering a course of somebody's life. Okay, there's, as a tarot card reader, there's boundaries that you just do not cross. And when it comes to death, when it comes to, um, like, telling people if they're going to die or making people fall in love with each other or something like that, I can't do that. That's alter altering somebody's um, destiny and can shift it in a major, major way. Now, I could give you guidance and advice and, like, you know, you know, like in a Tesla or one of those self-driving cars when you're driving and it taps this line, goes beep, beep, and then it stays in the middle. I'm the lines on the each side. I'm the beep, beep, so you stay in the middle. I can't sit there and make you do like a Tesla, like a left turn or a right turn. No, I can't do that. I, I mean, I can, but I won't, okay? Yeah, so also for you tarot card readers out there that are also getting started, just be mindful of that as well. If you have like 10 of Pentacles, or not 10 of Pentacles, if you have a 10 of Swords and... um. Like, say, Ten of Swords, uh, Death card, and the Devil energy, okay? And they all come out at once. That is definitely an indicator that somebody's going to die or somebody, um, something bad's going to happen. Something very bad's going to happen. But you can't, then you got to just say, okay, well, let me clarify this energy. Let me clarify. And then you got to pull some more cards and say, clarify the Ten of Swords, the Death card, and the Devil. All right? And then if it comes up... If the card flips out upside down, like this just did, like, I'm not joking, look, I gotta show you. If it flips out like this, face down, then you are not allowed to give them advice, you're not allowed to do anything. But if it flips this way, then you are, okay? So steer clear, if it flipped up this way, then I would say steer clear of a very uh, negative, toxic, uh, Queen of Swords could be a possible Aquarius. Steer, steer clear of this. That's if it flips out upright. But if it flips out down, that's that's the divine, baby. That's the divine saying, no. Case closed. You cannot tell them nothing. Okay? I get readings like that all the time where I'll just be like, ah, slam on them Winston breaks. I can't tell you shit. And this completes your reading. <laughs> now give me $50. <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys. I love you so much. Um, please, if you enjoyed my content this far, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. All right. Um, let's get some advice for this justice. This justice in reverse that's uh, for this reading. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you may feel at this time, look at the Hierophant and the justice. And then I got the truth, the Ace of Swords. So if you feel at this time that you are just not getting justice for a situation, okay? Like something's not balanced, something is gonna come into balance. The divine is going to bring this into balance for you and justice will be had with the Hierophant card here, but I'm hearing patience, patience. You have to be patient and you also have to speak good affirmations into existence, okay? Like um, the truth will be seen, not, oh, I'm never going to, never going to get my justice or, you know, um, stop harping on, um, what they did. Okay. Stop speaking it out loud to, to other people. When you have to speak something that's bad, like they say, like if you've ever done something really bad in your past, don't talk about it. Do not talk about it. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can talk about it to vent, to release, but don't talk about it in a way where you're gloating about it. Where you're saying, ha, ha, yeah, like I shot that motherfucker. You know, don't do that. Don't do that. Because that is bringing that toxic negative energy right back into your into your energy. And especially when you're gloating about it. Yeah, and you will push away all of your blessings. You see the hand of God reaching through the clouds trying to give this guy a cup. 
and and he's crossing his arms like no i'm good yeah that's what that will do that, that kind of energy will repel any kind of blessings so do not gloat over some toxic shit that uh you have done in your past all right now if you're talking about it in, a, in an aspect of you're trying to teach like say for instance you are a gang member okay i don't know i'm just throwing that out there say say you're a gang member and um you had a or you had a really hard upbringing say you were in a biker club or something and you're trying to turn kids away from um being a gang member or getting involved in biker clubs all right um that is good and that actually releases um that that releases the 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 karma that is going to be coming in for you so it turns that karma around so like say for instance if you're a drug addict okay if you're an ex-drug addict and then you join the dare program and you go to school to school trying to teach kids like don't do drugs that also puts good dharma in your karma dharma in your karma yeah it does all right you guys um that's what i'm hearing that's how you're gonna get this justice there's a lot of people that are fighting around you or about you okay oh shit okay um also somebody could have had oh that's horrible i'm so sorry for your loss somebody could have had a miscarriage all right this is not for all of you this is just for a few of you um maybe like two or three people out there okay that, remember i'm reading for like 50 million people out there in youtube world so um i'm really sorry for your loss but just know that that baby is up in heaven um that baby was too angelically powerful to be on this 3d earthly realm and that baby is up in heaven and is looking down on you or that baby is also with you <laughs> gonna make me cry that baby's also with you um whenever you think about that that child okay so i just want to put that out there my heart and love and prayers go out to you okay sweetheart don't make me cry it's too early in the morning okay um but yes the manifestation skills are on point here okay and that's also part of your justice yeah and then my nose started itching right when i said that so that means that's on point all right um also ten of, pe of cups here so things may be a little rocky right now all right um things also people may be fighting around you but um i'm hearing that you need to you need to close out this karmic cycle these people that are fighting you'll know who these people are because your intuition will tell you so you will know who these people are because you'll see dim, um evil oh look ten of swords is under that you'll see some really evil traits about them okay like say for instance if um say for instance if like i don't know you want to give uh five hundred dollars to your son's football team and your friend says no why are you gonna give five hundred dollars to a bunch of kids why don't you give it to me I, I need to buy a boat or something like that that's toxic okay i'm sorry but that's toxic you give that money to those babies you don't give that money to a friend or something like that i don't know i don't know but though that I, that was just like a little example all right um by you completing these karmic cycles with the world card here okay you're you're cutting away people that are fighting with you causing havoc and chaos in your life because your intuition's on point and you're being guided at this time by your intuition from the heavens from the holy angels from god okay you're being guided at this time to move away from these people and go within okay go within and that will bring this ten of cups that's what's going to bring in your Ten of Cups. That's what's going to also bring you into union with the High Priestess. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. I just seen this right now. Okay, I'm hearing whoever's coming in for you, if you're a masculine, whoever's coming in for you is a High Priestess. Very psychic, very intuitive. She holds the book of the esoteric knowledge in her lap. She's got the, the earth and the moon energy at her feet. She's also divinely balanced. She's got good a balance of knowledge of good and evil. Okay? I would not mess with this chick. I'm just saying. And then you, if you're a masculine, you radiate in a Hierophant energy, which is very godly. Okay? The Hierophant is like the, the Pope or something like that. But I'm not saying that you're like holier than now or anything. But 
you have a direct connection to God himself or the universe himself. You could talk and God listens. Okay. And with these two together, these two together walk into a room. Let me tell you what. Yeah. You see all these guys? Yeah. You see all this fighting? It will be stopped immediately. Okay. Yes. I'm hearing they will stop. They will turn and they will look and listen because you are the magician, baby. You are the magician. You are the high priestess. This, Honestly, in the tarot deck, the high priestess and the magician, these are the married couple. And they are the most psychic, intuitive, um, alchemy powerful. Um, they just have all the tools in their belt. Like, you see how the magician has a cup for love, a sword for uh, truth and w wisdom and knowledge, a pinnacle for money and abundance. Like, and a, the wand for passion, anything that they're passionate about. Manifestation skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why you got this Ten of Cups coming in, baby. Because you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. Okay? But you have to first... So this Justice card could be turned upright. You have to first take these people and silence them by cutting them off. By taking your Archangel Michael sword and the devil and cutting him off. Okay, cut off any toxic people that are trying to manifest against you and manifest your doom. Do you see this? Okay, it came upright, but I don't like the Ten of Swords upright, okay? This is the most painful card in the deck. This is Ten Swords stabbed in this man's back. And that's because you allow people like this in your energy, okay? So we are at the time we are removing those swords from our back and we're silencing the people that want to bring in any um, pain, chaos, and turmoil. All right, and then we also have the king of swords here. So we got the king of swords and the queen of swords. I thought I seen a queen of swords. Okay, anyways, we got the king of swords here and king of swords stands in his power. I'm also hearing this is an authority or um, some kind of some kind of figure in the town that where people look up to you. People look up to you. People admire you. Okay, you're very well known and you're very well respected. Yes, and there will be a celebration. There will be a, an offer coming in, and, and this is going to bring in some balance for you. All right. Oh, and it could be a Pisces. Just saying. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups here, this is a Pisces card. Okay, so a Pisces can be coming your way. Um, what else do we have? We have Pisces. We got Gemini. Now, these are all signs that you could possibly be dealing with. It doesn't mean you have to be. It's just that you can be dealing with. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? I'm reading for 50 million people out there. So it's not all about you. <laughs> but you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Virgo, Pisces. Taurus, I said that, Libra, um, big time Pisces energy, big time Scorpio, big time Scorpio, Capricorn, got heavy Capricorn here, uh, Pisces, big time on Pisces energy though, yeah, definitely Pisces, um, and then you could also be a, a another water sign, I'm hearing, yeah, clarification, you do got a cup of love coming in your way. But there's just a little bit of things that need to be worked out. Like I'm hearing um, the there's corks, there's there's uh, X's that are being crossed, T's are being crossed, I's are being dotted. You know, everything's getting worked out, but you just have to have patience, okay? So just take it slow because also good things come to those who wait. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, just stay single. Just radiate in the single energy. Just keep loving you, doing you. Um, uh, keep toxic people away and you'll be surprised what you're manifesting when you do this. Okay. When you love yourself and you have strength to propel yourself and, and fend for yourself and provide for yourself and you're not codependent on anybody or anything in your life, you're not codependent at all. And you have healed some past childhood trauma issues. I'm hearing, especially with the lion card here. Yeah. Yeah. And you're single and you're just looking gorgeous. Nine of cups here. Yeah, you'll be surprised that what the universe will bring you in. When you start putting out that kind of energy. It's simple law of attraction, people. Okay? I love you so much.
please smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Don't forget to put me in that algorithm. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Peace. Mwah.